Hi everybody, time for 10 Minute Technology Tuesday. How do you like my look today? I'm still trying to stay in the spirit of things. This week's session is going to be on how to use Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is something we have available to us that can change pictures around and make them what you want to. Very easy to use, but uh, does have its limitations. So I'm going to go to a Google search right now and just type in Christmas tree, find an image that I can manipulate or one I might want to change. I'm going to choose this Christmas tree right here. Let me do save image as. Notice it comes up, down, up as a PNG. That's a type of a picture. I'm going to be able to look for that later. I'll click save. And notice I already have it downloaded. I don't want to download it a third time. So I'm going to find that. Double click on it. Oh, sure, we want to replace that. We go. Now I want to open up that image. Now I have the image just like it is. Maybe you've seen some pictures like this. They're sideways or crooked. And you want to be able to change them just a little bit. Just tweak it. So here's the picture right now. I'm going to do open right here. Open. And here's a couple choices. I'm going to choose open with paint. That's our Microsoft Paint. When I do that, it comes into a screen like this. Now I have a few choices. First thing I might want to do is crop it or change it, take out something. Let me choose select up here. Notice I get a star shape. Let's just take out that star by selecting it and then hit delete. Star is gone. Maybe you have a wording or a face in there, um, something that you want to be uh, changing the picture, just as simple as that. I'm going to do redo for that or undo. Now I'm back to my picture. Let's say I wanted to color this or put some words into it. Well, I can do that in this program. If I want to color this picture, remember I've just got this selected right now, so I don't want to uh, change it in any way for cropping or resizing. I'm going to choose to change the colors. I hit the bucket in. That's probably my easiest way to change them. If I go to bucket right now, I'll choose, let's say, this color right here. I'm going to choose star, so I can easily change the star like that. Or maybe I could change the bucket the bucket tip. If you see the bucket tip right now, I want that wherever that goes is where the color is going to go. Well, maybe I want to change these little beads, each one to be a different color. This is not big enough right now for me to be able to change that. If I hit control, hold down the control button and scroll, I can make this picture bigger easier for me to see what I want to change as the bucket. I have my bucket in there right now, change it to blue, maybe this one to blue, I'll change this bow to blue. Notice how it's not getting every single square in there. If I hold down my control button and expand a little bit more, I can easily see exactly where I want that to go. Oh, undo. There we go. Well, I have a feeling the uh, this goes right into here. So I'm going to slide in even more, scroll in even more, magnify it. Maybe I got to get to the paintbrush. Paintbrush has a couple different sizes. Right now I'm at the biggest swipe. I'll choose the uh, blue color I just had. And now I'll just click wherever that paintbrush is and it fills in those, bot, those spots. So there's a number of different ways for you to be choosing or painting here. Uh, maybe I want to change colors. I can edit the colors. I can pick two colors. Let's try this one. Now whatever I choose oh, will still be here. I still have that green on there. I could change it to a shape and I could put in another shape, put in a star. I'll undo that. I'm still on paint right now. Scroll back down. Another shape here. There is a little better star. I could refine that a little bit, make it better. Just delete that. I could also put in some words in here. 
So I'm choosing this right here. And then I get a uh, text box. If I'm going to type in Merry, Merry Christmas. Here I can change it a bit. Move it around the four angles. It does have its limitations. There's some things you can't do. You could change the text to make it bigger or smaller. You could change it to be different colors. And there I have my picture. Well, let's just say I want to change that bucket to a different color here. There we go. So let's say that's the picture the way I want it, just like that. <clears throat> I'm going to go up into File and do Save as and I should get some choices let me try that again file save as now sometimes whenever I wanted to put a picture into just a Microsoft Word document it wouldn't take the PNG and I simply have to change it this might be one way to do it put the picture simply into paint and then do a save as and you could put it into a JPEG is an option here's where it was do that again it was at a ping. Sometimes you can't insert pictures if they are in that ping format. JPEG is probably one of the more common ones, and GIF is probably a common one that will be allowed to put in Word um, easily accepted into different things. So I can save it as a JPEG, and it will save the changes I just had. I'd like to quickly just show you. I'll cancel that. Show you some pictures. Don't save changes some things I maybe already have done, some ideas that you might want to do with it. Here are some things that I have already worked on. And used paint to work on these. I changed the pictures in here to make it clear. And here's the picture I had just before. So I hope you learned a little bit today about how to use Microsoft Paint to, to uh, resize, to cut, to add colors, to change it just a little bit the way you want it to, and use it inside a document. Hope you have a great day. Bye.